there is no power lines above us, no power lines below us. <clears throat> and we're out in the middle of nowhere building a new site, working on a new site. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to show Frankie the first world's only solar powered chainsaw. Uh, and I say that with a little bit of a grain of salt, because let me show you something here. So this is a brand new chainsaw. Sixteen inch by you go. I'm gonna let you actually open that up, Frankie. So we've got 40 cc's of power, 150 cuts per charge, and it has a two and a half amp hour battery charger included. Need a battery. That's the battery right there. And this is a property that Frankie and I started to develop about two weeks ago to get out of the grid and out of yeah, the system. I told you. So so. Like two. two bars on it right now. Yeah. Let's see what else is in the box. You have the charger. Yep. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. So here's your, here's your chain tension right there. Let's let's demonstrate how you tension that up once and and down. Okay, well I would imagine you could be loosening her up. Oh, let's loosen her up. Let's loose let's loosen her up oh. considerably. Okay. There we go. Just say reverse, I think. We're seeing this for the first time with you guys. Yep, look at that, look at that, look at that. You can see that chain just flopping right off right there. And then you just dial it right up to where you want it. That is just sick. That is really sick. How much, how much uh, tension do you like to have on them, Frankie? I, I don't know, I just pull them so you can just, uh, I'll show you kind of what I like. Something like that, you know, I mean, you can, you can still pull it away, but it, it ain't too tight then, you know, so you don't mm -hmm. get it hot. So you ready to go. Where's the barn chain oh, fill? I'll grab it. Wait, wait, I, I want to see where the f barn chain fill oh, is on this one. I would imagine. Right, right there, here. right there. I wonder what that little hole is like. I'll grab it. Not bad. All right, and while Frankie, you're doing that, I'm gonna get the solar charger out. I don't know if people, if as many people realize this, I just didn't think people understood this. So inside of my camper trailer, I've got this solar panel, and that's actually an Ego solar panel designed to charge Ego batteries. You feel Frankie, I'm gonna go. Okay. So, we're doing a solar, solar power battery charger. We need to do it in the sun. Now I'm not gonna plug it in yet. I want you guys to be able to see this. As soon as I plug it in, the batteries will start to cycle through and pick out which one needs the most juice. It'll start to fill that one in. The system does that. So the panel just plugs right into the uh, inverter on the top. There we go. And she just came on and she, she's She's charging right there. You can see it says it's charging. So it's charging right now the number three battery. So it's charging this battery up first. 
So I'm gonna jump in here because I never really give you a very good description of what this tool is that we're looking at. This is an inverter made by Eagle and it's designed to take their batteries which power all of their tools and it allows you to plug in a fan. It allows you to plug in a light, a TV, a VCR. It has three standard 110 outlets and it has four USB outlets that are individually controlled. And typically what you would do is you would plug the inverter into a wall, charge up your batteries, and now you've got all this juice that you can walk around and take with you. But what Ego has done is they've set up a system that it can now connect to a solar panel. And my question is, is I wonder if you could connect this to a bigger solar panel and have it run multiple inverters because this could be a really interesting solution for off-gridders that also like to power tools or like to use power tools. I'm just thinking, what do you guys think? By the sun. I don't know where Lucy ran off to. You ain't got a battery operated rake, do you? <laughs> Four so, out of five. Four out of five. Okay, so, uh, all right, let's go cut some branches. Let's go yeah, see I'm how this thing. Start right here. I have to get these broken ones off. Okay. Yeah, let's get all these eye gougers out. <laughs> Frankie, yeah. we'll take this side out up to here and then I'm gonna come up and push the whole tree out. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, the whole tree's dead. But at least let's get them guy gougers out anyway. Yeah, well, it's hitting that branch, it's dry. Field fix. Oh no, field fix. What tools is Frankie gonna use? Is he gonna use his ginky finger? I'm going to use any tools. <laughs> Frankie's permanently bent finger. Frankie was pointing the other day, but his finger only, <laughs> his, the end of his finger always points down. I didn't say it. I wanted to, I'm like, Frankie, what's on the ground you keep pointing at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause he can't point straight. It's I can't get my finger there. That's what Frankie's finger does. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There's Frankie's finger. <laughs> yeah. okay. Lucy's such a pansy out here. She's always going in when there's too many mosquitoes out. Really? Oh yeah. She's the first she one in every you. night. But I'll tell you, cause hey, she's warm. So when she cuddles up next to you in bed, you're like, hmm, yeah, I don't mind. It's not so bad having a nice warm dog laying next to you in a cold camper. Leave it a little loose. Yeah, you're too loose though, right? But I mean, leave this loose until you get it tightened up. Oh, okay. Across the road. Across the road. Across the field. We're going across the road, guys. <laughs> we best look for traffic. So last night, you see that grove of trees right there, that little little pocket on the other side of that hill was a big pack of coyotes. And they were getting a bit close for Lucy's comfort.
give you a hand, Lucy. Oh. Oh. So every night we've been lucky enough to have a different kind of visitors. One night it'll be coyotes, a different night it'll be timber wolves, one night we had a bear, one night we had a mountain lion. We always have something new coming in. Comfort. <laughs> Too close for Lucy's comfort. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Oh man, did that drive her nuts? We're going across the street here, as Frankie likes to say. So this is going to be our, we're actually in the middle of assembling a yurt over there for off-grid living. This is going to be our stockpile of wood. Look at the fat tip. Sharp chain, sharp chain. Is that considered a chain? Is that what the technical tape name is? Yeah. Because boy, if you get that wrong, you call that a blade. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> Who doggy? I don't want to be the person that accidentally calls a chain a blade on YouTube. You don't be that guy. No, she cuts nice. Yeah, she cuts. So the real legitimate question is, is how well would this actually function in an application where you don't have power and you may need a chainsaw? Well, I have one inverter and that can charge four batteries simultaneously. And what I've been doing over the last two weeks is I borrowed the chainsaw to Thomas without saying a word to him. And I've watched him cut that entire pile of wood up and he's been using that chainsaw every single day without an issue but he has processed quite a bit of firewood at least one to two quart of firewood already just off from solar alone so then the question is what do you what would you need to become completely self-sufficient with a system like this i don't know so now technically anything ego has will run off from this same battery which is now being charged i got a bank of four of them being charged by the sun right over there so in a way this is not just a video about a solar powered chainsaw but it's about a solar powered lawnmower snow blower yep. solar powered weed whip leaf blower the ego now has a light that i have i use inside of the thing because it's it hooks directly up to the solar panel okay. i mean i took a it took about three to four days to charge those batteries up from charge. yeah no just from wearing them down oh. they weren't totally empty so I bet if you had like a bank of six or seven of those, you could rotate, because I watch TV all night long. I turned it off this morning, accidentally left it on. I fell asleep with the TV and the VCR running. So, and that's had plenty of juice left. Yeah, yeah, if your guy had, you had three of them setups, you'd be good. Three? Even two. I would go six. Or six setups? Six, because then you could power oh, all the you tools you want. Tools. I yeah, mean, like yeah. you could work, run tools all day long. Yep, yep. yeah. I and then charge that. it up, and then and then every bank would charge it up because you'll go through about probably a, a whole pack of batteries a day if you're like right. us and you're going to be out working all day long. Yep. yep. And if it takes three days to charge up a system, you know what I mean? Yep. So if you had six, you'd have enough to charge to run whatever you constantly want work. and constantly work without delay. Yep. Like, do we got an oak in there or anything? Yeah, this should be, well, them littler ones, but that's a maple. But maples, yeah, maples. Maples a hardwood. Kind of all right, so what are we doing, Frankie? <laughs> we got a maple, right? Yeah. All right. I don't know if we still have it up here. Those battery powered chainsaws just have instant torque. Yeah. They got plenty. Plenty there. As long as you got a sharp chain, I think these would make it all, you know, they just as good. Just as good as what? A, a gas. Okay, so if you had a sharp chain on both gas and battery, which one would you take? Gas. Would you? Why is that? I get more done. What do you mean? I get more done. I think the RPMs on the gas is faster. I think if uh, I could cut more wood with a gas than I can with battery. But I'm not complaining about the battery. I'm just saying I could probably cut more with gas. Okay, so if you were out in the middle of the woods yep. and you couldn't go back and shower yep. and you had to cut wood all day long and breathe in them fumes. Remember we did that, yep. that yep. video where we were breathing in them fumes? Now which would you take? And you got enough battery to work all day. Would you still go gas? 
I, I don't know. I'd have to work it all day. Really, honestly, to tell you the truth. But I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, I would. I'd probably take battery because it's lighter. Yeah, but let's charge that battery up. Yeah. Grab one of these. Yeah. yeah. Good. No, no. There's a. We got a good one right now. It's charging up the number three cell on it, so that should have plenty of juice. But that's a bigger battery, so yeah. that's gonna make that chainsaw. That's yeah, and feel a heck, heck of a lot heavier. Oh, this battery's almost full over here, Frankie. Let me get these out now, same way. Got to manhandle them all. Oh, just pull. <laughs> Look at the difference. Size. Yeah, but like it's already charging up. Uh, the beauty about this system to this Nexus power station, it tells you about how many hours of runtime you got. So when I'm plugging stuff in, yeah. and it's 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 going, all right, you got 88 hours of runtime, or you got 18 or 24, and it gives really? you the readout as you're going down. I don't know, but I'm thinking I'm kind of falling in love with this system pretty fast. Yeah, I could see. Yeah, or or if. If this will, if, you, if they got a box where you can put like four of these and and go to a box and then from the box go to that. So it charges faster. Yeah. Yeah. You know they might make that type of a unit. But it would be nice just to have a whole having bank more batteries having more that. batteries. Yep. yep. So then that begets the question, would it even be feasible to run an entire off-grid campground where you have access to power tools and blowers, but also bring the inverters in and you can power your refrigerator, your fan, a TV? Would this Ego system convert over and what would it take to actually make that a practical application? Because I don't know personally of any other systems that allow you to pop the batteries out and go power tools or just to take this system in and go power your TV. It's kind of pretty universal. So you guys tell me what you think. I'm, I'm just thinking, would a bank of 50 of these things with solar panels actually provide enough juice and power to run a house or run an off-grid establishment or run an off-grid campground with no issues? You tell me. But that's all we got for you in this one. God bless you guys. Go get them. We'll catch you on another one.